Hi, good morning. Today we are going to talk about the first type of speed problem which is called journey by paths. Let's dive into the problem straight away. Ben drives from town A to town B. Right? We will have a pictorial representation town A and town B and Ben is driving from town A to town B. He drives two-fifths of the journey at 40 kilometers per hour. For this, what we do is divide the entire journey into five parts. And he drives two out of five parts of the journey at 40 kilometers per hour. So two parts out of five parts. The details that we know from the question so far is speed is 40 kilometers per hour. Distance not known and time not known either and covers the remaining 180 kilometers in three hours. The remaining 180 kilometers is the three parts. So that's three fifths of the journey. And what information do we know about it? We know that we don't know the speed, but we know the distance is 180 kilometers as shown here and the time taken is three hours for the journey. We also know that as long as we know either we know two of the quantities here like distance and time then we can find speed. So in this case we know 180 kilometers is the distance and time is three hours. So three units or here three parts of this entire journey is equal to 180 kilometers. So from that, we can say one unit is 60 kilometers. The moment we know one unit is 60 kilometers, we know the entire distance because we know that the entire distance is uniformly divided into five equal parts. So the first question is, what is the distance between town A and town B? So the total distance is given by five units which is 5 times 60 equals 300 kilometers. The second question is what is Ben's average speed for the journey? We know that average speed is given by total distance from A to B divided by the total time taken for the journey from A to B. We know the total distance which is 300 kilometers but we don't know the total time taken. Reason? We know the time taken for this three hours, but we don't know the time taken for this part of the journey. So yes, we know the total distance, but we don't know the total time taken for the journey. So for that, first, we have to find the time taken for the first part of the journey. The first step is to find the distance here. The distance is given by two units, and we have already found one unit is equal to 60 kilometers. So two unit is equal to two times 60 is 120 kilometers. And the time taken is actually distance over speed. The time taken is given by distance over speed, which is 120 over 140. Sorry, 120 divided by 40, which is equal to three hours. Now we know the total time taken, 3 hours plus 3 hours is 6 hours in total. So we replace the distance with 300 kilometers and the total time taken with 6 hours. So that, when we divide 300 by 6, we get 50. So the average speed for the journey is 50 kilometers per hour. This is the first type of question where uh, the journey is divided into parts. And information is given for each part separately in the question. And hence, this, we call this type of problem journey by path.